I'm Pat Gunn, and we've uh, and this is a Let's Play for Skyrim. So here we are at Shorestone. We're picking up an uh, ore sample. It's about time. I sent them a letter. Here you go. Tell half your that she can chip off whatever she thinks is a fair. <laughs> I'm worried that they'll come out. Yeah, they're as useless. What's the point in protecting? Tell you what. Keep to your word, and I'll line. Okay, so he wants uh, wants a mine cleared of spiders. So I am going to sell some of the, the stuff I have that's taking up inventory. Okay. I don't want to be responsible for sending you to your death. Oh, don't worry. I'm fine with sending myself to my death. So I believe that let's find Okay, Red Belly Mine, is that back here? That might be back here. You're like me, huh? Don't So I haven't yet played a character. In this case, I'm going to summon a flame astronaut, and I'm not sure if if having dragged the uh, the guard in actually might mean that Who's there? the guard might help. It would be kind of cool if that were the case. Let's find out. No, it seems like the guard uh, wants to step back outside. But yeah, you just need uh, for this quest. You just need to kill all the spiders, which is really pretty quick to do. You can do mining here if you want, but is that it? Yeah, that's it. Just about the quickest quest you can imagine. Although. I imagine a lot of people haven't yet leveled their smithing to 100 by this point, so they so they might uh, actually stop to do the mining. But here, I'm just doing them a quick favor. Now, I, I should note one of the uh, you should never return to this mine once you finish this quest because the miners will come back in. But the problem is. The problem is the spiders will respawn at, uh, at some point too. I finally found you. I want to join the College of Winterhold, but I need help with my wards. Can you teach me? Really? Great. Okay, so. So he wants me to use a ward. So I will use a ward. You raise your ward and I'll throw a little spell at it. That way I can see the right way to do things. Get your ward ready. Great. Now I'm going to cast some spells. Get ward up so I can spell. Okay. I think I see what I was doing wrong. All right, that should do it. I think I'm ready to try the college again. Thanks. Huh. Well, I've never had that random adventure happen before, but it was kind of fun. Okay. I don't like those eyes you got. God. Find here. Please accept this gift. Okay. Of our 1500 gold. That's good. But yeah, if you if you return to the mine later, then the mine the spiders might respawn. And you really don't want that uh, want that to happen because they'll kill all the miners pretty quickly. But it is a goofy way for miners to die, because they're perfectly fine so long as you never uh, set foot in there again. So 
So we are delivering the ore sample and then we are going to go and do the uh, and talk to the uh, Thieves Guild head. And report, I believe, that we know the name of the person who's been messing with the guild. Okay, so he is okay. Yeah, he's in the alchemy shop. Please, oh, what's going on? Is there a something's going on over here? So let's get a bound sword out. Actually, I should swing by a shrine and heal myself of the two illnesses that I believe I have. Shrine just tell us, looking good. And now let's see if the fight is still going on. Looks like it might be. Or is it done? Maybe it's done. I'm glad that Balamond is still alive because I don't want to have to go through the trouble of resurrecting him again. Put this away, don't need it. Huh. Looks like these guys are still at it. Maybe. Sometimes the guards just get confused. They're not particularly uh, intelligent at times. There are some fantastic mods for Skyrim that uh, that involve making NPCs dance while they talk. So those are definitely worth checking out. Okay, so thank you. Here, I had him make you a few things for all that travel. Excellent. I think. Thank you. I'll be sure to put it to good use. Yeah, so I am fond of investing with basically any NPC that I can find uh, because it increases their disposition towards you. So even if I'm never going to be buying or selling from them, it just makes them a little bit friendlier and that's kind of cool. things. Everything I think except for Jazz Bay uh, grapes, which we might be trying to collect for, uh, for a while because they're not the most common ingredient. And that's getting us down to a reasonable weight. Do we have any ores that we need to drop off or anything like that? Oh, I did not mean to grab that. Okay, that'll do. So now we are going to actually fast travel to the Thieves Guild, which is why it's okay that we're exiting through this door. Well, 
the, with the loading times, really it might might have made more sense just to run through the town. Oh well, doesn't really matter. These don't look too clean. Not really sure how one would go about cleaning things like this, except maybe sticking boiling water in them. Well, it's kind of funny that uh, real chemists still use uh, tools that are not super different from these. Glass, uh, glass remains a highly practical material for chemistry. Okay, fast travel back to Peaskeld. Let's hope that we don't have another super long loading time for this. Yeah, so these guys are a pretty reasonable summon. Uh, Atronox are still probably generally better, since these guys only do melee. They can take more punishment than a Flame Atronox, but uh, I think Ice and Storm Atronox uh, are, are roughly as tough as they are. Of course, if you just need somebody to stand still and uh, and block your foes while you try and slip around behind or something, then they're they're pretty decent. But they don't have any ranged attacks, so they're a little bit less versatile. Huh. Interesting. I've never really noticed that their wings are so uh, beat up before. Okay, let's push the button. Hope that we don't have another super long loading time uh, as we go through here. Yeah, this is slightly ridiculous. But I'm imagining uh, having faster disks and maybe not recording video would make a big difference in, uh, in this type of loading time. Okay. Sister in crime, what did you need? Oh, uh, want to talk? Who do I need to talk to here? Um, ah, Mercer Frey, who is somewhere a little bit okay, he's over there. Did Gullamai give up any information on our buyer? No. This is grave news indeed. Carlia destroyed everything this guild stood for. After we discovered what she'd done, we... Carlia and I were like... I know her techniques, her skin. If only we knew where she was. There's only one place that could be. We have to go out there before she... Yes, I'm going... Here's your payment for solitude. Prepare yourself and meet me at the ruins as soon as you can. We can't let her slip through our fingers. Okay, so there is Wait, why is this person being highlighted? Sorry, lass. I've got important things. Oh yeah, we started uh, We again restarted a quest to to enter the Thieves Guild at some point after we had already entered it. Okay, so we're going to Snowvale Sanctum. I don't think we have anything left really to do with here. Yeah, we started that quest, never finished it. Let's return the sword, uh, the sword to what's his name. The Smith dude. Not 
I do kind of regret turning off the music in this city because it does have some of the best music um, in the game. But again, I, I don't want to match the YouTube content. Um, the YouTube content detector matches the wrong word. I don't want to trigger it. So yeah, as oh shoot. Okay, there's another vampire here somewhere. Oh sorry, I accidentally hit a, a citizen. I need to surrender to the guard here. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? All right, all right. Just keep voice down. Don't let me catch you again. Okay, so I'm hoping that no important NPCs got killed. I don't see any that did. So it looks like things worked out okay. Now, I'm going to wait until daytime because I need to wait for the smith, uh, the smithy to come out to give him the sword. Okay. Ah, there we go. I'll present this to the Yara later. As for you. Oh, well, that's not very helpful because I'm already level 100 smith. Anyhow. Um... I needed to. Oh, what was it? It was Snowvale Sanctum. So I don't have really any fast travel markers that are particularly close to here. So it looks like I have a long hike to take care of. First, I'm going to swing by the College of Winterhold and advance this quest line a little bit. Trolls are not very fun to fight. If you stay on the side of the Dawn Guard, you can actually uh, hire them t to uh, come around and help you. Which is kind of fun. You do have to take care of them. I think they're an uh, additional animal uh, follower, and you can still have a human follower with you. This must be that beautiful Skyrim weather. What are you... you're looking nervous. Why are my research materials co- I'll gladly share my knowledge with Sweet. You. Oh, except I'm out of gold now. Take a but look. I can sell her some of the extra junk that I don't need. Um... I'll sell the pickaxe. I'm probably not going to be doing any mining anytime soon. don't need these necklaces or this ring. This isn't important. Uh, 
Oh, I'm still wearing a smithing ring for some odd reason. Okay, so now... I'll gladly share my knowledge with you. So, you wish to master the arcane... See if she has any books that I want? No, not really. Okay. So I will take this level up, and I will spend it on Magicka, and... Let's see, can I take that nicer... No, you have to be at level 70 to take the, uh, the more effective against undead perk. Um, I don't have enough for the level 2 of that yet, so... Okay, I could improve, improve block. Don't have block up enough for that yet. Um... Could definitely improve one-handed. That would be kind of useful. Let's do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's keep on moving. So I could trade uh, with her again, but I don't think I have the way to make most of them. I don't know what he's doing, but he won't. Excellent. Ancano has somehow locked. Help us get through this. I don't care what it is. I want it down now. Doing in there. Okay, so I might as well buy our powers combined. Uh, let's turn up, shoot some flames into this. Okay, we've got this thing open. He is kind of being a creep here. Dude, what is up? That's not a great place to stand. Oh, what are... Uh, Sarana, don't stand there. Are you alright? Can you walk? I need you on your feet. We're in trouble here. Ancona is doing something with that thing. I haven't seen Sa I need you to find the Archmage, and I I'll be fine. I just need a minute okay. to catch my breath. Find and he has created a force field around himself and the disco ball. So we are going to head out. And look for Savos. Except there's some bad news. He's dead. What's happened? Are you all right? He's not. What happened in there? By the... Is he responsible for this? The art... There's more. Quickly now, quickly. I'll find Mirabelle and see if we can't put a stop to this. Is he dead? Okay. Where'd you come from? Oh, except this is a weird time for a dragon attack. But fortunately we actually have most of the mages around. So it's a very bad time for the dragon. When the dragon is uh, is attacking, it's oh, where did it land? Did it actually land on top of the building? I think it landed on top of the building. Yeah, when when the whole College of Winterhold is assembled um, in the courtyard, that's not a great time, generally speaking, to uh, swing by as a dragon and and attempt to kill people. Although I suppose it's possible that the dragons, uh, the last time that they were awake and alive, uh, was a, a good time before, uh, before humans became civilized and powerful and stuff. So 
maybe they're not used to the idea of actually having competition. Anyhow, let's head out and say hello. Whoa, bad place to be. But fortunately for me, he's almost dead. And now he's dead. Okay. So that's another dragon soul for me. And I'm going to, going to want to probably jump down and continue on my way. Okay. What's going on? What happened in there? It may be let's get down. It may be dead now, but where did it come from? Okay. So there are these irritating little critters that are threatening the town part of Winterhold. And the mages are coming down to take care of them. Okay. Let us be ready to so Frost Tatronox are probably a better choice here because even though they don't have a lot of endurance, they they hit a lot uh, faster. Oh, guys, oh. Yeah, don't hurt the chickens. Unfortunately, yeah, these guys are, are pretty pretty slow to kill. I'm not sure if my Atronach is still around. And some of these guys are actually managing to land some blows on me. Fortunately, actually I'm going to summon a Frost Atronach. These guys are just, uh... Okay, one of them is dead, which is good. What this may be a sign of is that uh, bound weapons are not actually that great for uh, at this point in the game. Although fortunately, I did uh, I did improve my one-handed skill, which is probably helping a little bit. But it's certainly not make this is still a ridiculously slow battle. Okay, three of them are dead. Yeah, the lighting is kind of weird. But yeah, for this battle, so long as you have reasonable uh, reasonable armor, you should be okay. Um, okay. Of course, you, you also want to make sure that you don't actually, or don't accidentally kill your teammates, which can be a little bit of a challenge at times. Running away. Now, if you uh, loot their uh, loot the smudges that they leave behind, generally you get full soul gems, which is kind of nice. Although at this point in the game, you might not really need that anymore. Okay. The remaining ones are up ahead here. Oh, come on. Just quit running. Right, where'd it go? There it is. Oh. Yeah, they are pretty mobile, little critters. Gotcha. Okay. That looks like it's the last of them. We'll stay here. Get back to the college and let them know. 
So we're going to head back up. back into the Great Hall and Okay, so I think she was lying down here. Well, wish I could say Tolfdir and I can try and keep this contained. You were told if the stories about the staff are true, if it really can absorb what? Are you that can't be a coincidence. The up uh, he he told me it was from Labyrinth. I think I think you should take it and get out of here. Bring back that staff before Ancano brings the whole college down around us. Okay. So there is that. Then Chet, the local nords may not like us very much. Now, although certainly the the game uh, the plot paints it another way. You can actually put off getting the Staff of Magus for a while. Or Magnus, rather. But we will mark it on our map, and we're going to head the Snowvale Sanctum, which is... I guess the quickest way to, uh, to get there is to head to the shipwreck, and then head south. And this is the shipwreck where uh, we had to fight some bandits that like to swim, and uh, we retrieved a book that told some of the history of an Argonian who lives in Riften. I'm hoping there won't be all new bandits uh, there, but it's possible that we've been far enough away, if they are of the sort that comes back, that they've come back by now. They probably have. That was a much easier uh, or much earlier chapter. On the other hand, I'm not seeing anyone. Anyhow, uh, due south. So this is the wrong way. So I don't really care enough to find out. Not quite due south, but dewish south. Those look like ice wolves. Let's just be ready to conjure frost astronox. And they can distract our foes and we can just keep on moving. Hopefully Serana will catch up sooner or later. Now this cave, is this our destination? No. Well we might as well learn it. Because we don't have a lot of landmarks in this part of the world. The more we learn, the handier it will be if we need to uh, swing by here again. So it seems like, okay, this is where the, it looks like there's a campfire up ahead, of some sort. Is this where we're going? Yeah, looks like it quite possibly is. Or at least the, the barrow that's right behind it. Hey, it's a horse. Hey, horse. How you doing? Uh, dead walrus. Actually, I haven't ridden horses very much, and it looks like this one isn't owned. So I will show you what horses are like. So they're just a lot of fun. They're they, they're a little bit faster than walking. Um, they can jump. They're not the best jumpers, and unfortunately, they can die if you fall too far. And fairly often, if you fall too far, then uh, you'll end up uh, dying with them. Okay, here is Steve's Guild, dude. I've scouted the ruins, and I'm certain Carlia is still inside. 
No, I found her horse. Don't go. Let's get moving. I want to catch her in. I'm. You're leading, and I'm. Fu Just make certain. The last thing I need is you blundering into a trap and. 25 years. When I arrived, Gallus stepped. Before I could even draw my blade, her second arrow found it. Carlia was a master. I staggered away from the ruins, and my vision began to. The last thing I saw was Car. To this day, I've regretted allowing her to escape, even if it meant a the guild okay. sides quickly formed. I saw what they did to Gal. Fortunately, I persevered, and the other, the infighting, it. I spent thousands of septum. I have a long-standing arrangement with. We both agree it's best to keep these matters in. She was a st but she was also the best. Gallus trusted her too much, and if you want to call it that, Gallus would call her his little knight. Greed? One thing's certain I intend to find out before she draws okay. her last breath. So that is enough information. We're going to head in here. Uh, well, I guess maybe we have to wait for him to unlock the door. Or something. Come on, dude. Unlock the door. You gonna unlock the door? I guess you're gonna take your time. Quite simple, really. I don't know what the fuss is about these locks. All it takes is a bit of know-how. A lot of skill. That should do it. Yeah, so sometimes I'm a little bit envious of NPCs that can unlock doors that you can never unlock, no matter uh, how great your skill. But what can you do? Master Thief would have looted the place, but oh well. On we go. Pull the chain over there and watch out for the spikes. Just like this. Carlia reset all of the traps. Look. It where did? Where did Serana go? I'm hoping that she's just outside or something. Maybe she'll appear if, if I go through a door. Oh, hello. Do that better than you can, Mr. Draugr Deathlord. Oh, except you're gonna run a run away. I'll spit on your corpse. I think if you're gonna turn me into a corpse, spitting is one of the least of my problems. Uh, let's not do too many sideshows here. These are some of the tougher draugers, and typically they wield ebony weapons. So if you don't, so if you aren't doing the, uh, if you're not leveling sniffing enough to be making the best weapons for yourself, then uh, these are a reasonable source of nearly end game uh, gear. 
Yep, you can see Ebony Bell. Ebony Warax. Ebony Sword. Two more of them ahead. Okay, I'm hearing somebody okay. nearby. Somewhere around here is a chest, I think. Somewhere, uh huh. And let's switch back to a bound bow. Unfortunately, he doesn't really have the sense to back off when, uh... Yeah, he doesn't have the sense to back off when he's badly injured, but he is protected by the plot right now, so... They are polite enough to just let me sit back and Okay, that's looking good. And there is one of those guys who is using a bow. So they're actually extremely dangerous. Um Again, the problem is not spitting on my corpse, the problem is turning me into a corpse. If you're turning me into a corpse, I don't really care what you do with it afterwards. Okay. Okay, let's get some light, maybe a flame atronach and bound bow. Okay, let's keep moving. Maybe, uh,. Huh, weird, uh, maybe that wasn't the right kind to... Okay, gotta keep... Okay, and what is this? This is a model ship, which is kind of amusing. But, fortunately, just with backing off quickly, you can take care of it. And where are we going? We're apparently going down. So let's go down. Skeevers! Hello, Skeevers! Goodbye, skeevers. Okay, let's see. I think this is the right way. Somewhere around here is Carlia who is the person that we're hunting. So... Got 
gotcha. Um, except they are getting kind of close. So... And we're gonna switch to a bound sword and uh, one of our good shields. Unfortunately, we're getting a little bit of slowdown right now. And I can't quite see what I'm doing here. So, left hand, we're going to candlelight. And then we will put our shield back up. Ha ha ha. That's quite a lot of those guys, huh? Yeah, but again, ebony weapons on these guys, so be careful. You do not want to let yourself get surrounded by these guys, because... You can die really quickly if you do that. Okay, that is... It. But yeah, I, I need to heal again. back up. And uh, let's heal again. Then summon an ally. And then get our shield back up again. Some of a fire one? I meant to summon a nice one. There, that should work a little bit better. Yeah, so unfortunately our ally is not doing all that well. But He's also uh, unkillable, which means that we don't need to worry too much, and yeah. So, let's see, how much time do we have now? We have just a little bit of time left, and I may have actually made that a little bit more dangerous than I needed to because I didn't stop. Uh, I just kind of ran ahead, and I probably triggered triggered the fight with uh, with a few too, uh, a few more than I had to. Not really uh, explaining that that well. But yeah, I could have picked them off bit, bit by bit, probably, if I had been a little bit more patient. Ebony shield and war axe, that is good. Let's uh, brighten up the place a little bit. I wish that I had leveled... Whoa! Wow, that is pretty nasty. Okay. Kind of run ahead.
Unfortunately, that seems to summon pretty much everyone in the world. Including a flying dude. And there's a word wall nearby. I can hear it shouting at us. Oh yeah, so there's a dragon priest up there. That is what makes this interesting. And this is uh, an opposing frost astronaut, which I can make short work of. Oh, stop running away, dude. Where are you going? Candlelight. Okay, need to be able to summon another one of these guys. And let's get our shield back up. I think this is a skill book. Yep, light armor skill book, always useful. Um, and let's see what's going on up here. Oh wait, there's the word wall. Here is the chest. Okay, let's quickly learn this word. What is it? Oh, it's, uh, oh this isn't my cross hatch or not. It's an enemy one. pretty quickly. Anyhow, probably we want to be up here somewhere, maybe not. Um, actually, I'm not sure where we want to be. Oh, well, there's a chain and a further on. And here is... Dragon Priest is dead. Okay, now we just want to head over back, I think, to where we just were. Uh, candlelight is the spell I meant to use. Was this where we were going? I don't think it was. Maybe it was over... So I want to turn left. It is this way. Okay, so here we are. But this is actually a pretty good breakpoint. So I'm going to save the game here. Uh, I'm Pat Gunn. This has been a Let's Play of Skyrim. And I will see you in the next episode.